Hello, today I'm going to talk about how to assign static IP address uh, to devices on your local network. Uh, by static IP address, I'm talking about the IP address assigned by your router to your computers, tablets, cell phones, whatever. I'm not talking about the IP address assigned by your internet service provider, which usually will be dynamic for a home network. It's very easy. Uh, so just launch your browser and type in your router's uh, IP address and this is you need to check your routers manual and then you can log in if you can remember you can just reset your router with a pin pressing the reset button and here uh, I will show you you can see this computer um, the current computer has this IP address 192.168.1.250. So this address is assigned by me um, through this router. So you go to advanced, uh, there's setup, LAN setup. You can see here, there's my desktop. These are called address reservation. My desktop uh, is reserved, has reserved this IP address. And my other computer, this is the NAS, network uh, attached storages. So this has a different IP address. These are fixed. Um, and you can assign any IP address from 2 to 254, any one that is not yet taken. Yeah. So to assign another static IP address to a new device, you click on Add. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time. Yeah, then you can see these are the devices, the tablet. There's a bunch of other devices, laptop. Yeah, you. Copy this, uh, copy this MAC address and you paste it here. You assign another untaken number, say 248, and give it name, say uh, Long's lap my wife's laptop or something, Lenovo uh, laptop, and then you click on Add. So here I'm not going to add, I'm just cancel. After you add, you click on Apply. And then you reboot your router. Uh, under advanced, there should be a reboot option. Yeah, just a reboot. Then you're done. Your new device will have a fixed IP address. Uh, after having a fixed IP address, other devices will be able to find this de device through that fixed IP address, like this MongoDB um, app. So here, say if you want to connect, to this uh, address, this local host, and I can actually change this guy to 250. This is the IP address I just assigned, and I can connect. See, no problem, I connect to the MongoDB. Oh, if you're using another computer, that other computer can use this IP address to find the MongoDB database uh, logging as well. Okay, so that's my video for today. Thank you.